Hey guys, kamusta? I am at work right now and I am trying to be as quiet as I can. It's about 3.30 in the morning. I wanted to update you guys with what's been going on. Um, so I'm entering week four of health assessment, as you guys know. And I've talked about this before. Week four is one of the most imp important part of the health assessment. So I'm overly documenting everything and you know, I'm, I'm almost, it's not going to be due until um, next week on the 28th. So today is December 20th, 2020. Um, week three has just wrapped up. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, so my previous video, I told you guys there's two things that I noticed that Walden University um, have added. So one of the things that they have added is the My Progress Tracker. Um, it's very colorful. You're not going to miss it when you enter the class. It's going to be on your right hand side. Um, it just basically gives you an overview of the completed assignments or anything whatever is due, any late um, work and upcoming. And then when you click on that, there's gonna be like a calendar and then it shows you like completed items. Your average grade is in there as well. Um, and whatever items are due. Uh, so I think this is something really nice that they added. Uh, before, I would always just kind of print out my calendar and making sure that I stay organized that way. And also, I would click on the grades just to kind of keep up and, and look to see where I am. But now this is something that they added and I thought that it's really pretty cool. Uh, the second thing is that um, they have added weekly lectures. So what I have noticed is, you know, like different faculty members are kind of giving you a weekly lecture, but don't get too excited because the weekly lecture um, they're basically just reading off of like a PowerPoint and you don't even have access to that PowerPoint. You can't even print it. But anyways, I think those are the two things that they added. And I think it has something to do with um, their site evaluation for their CCNE accreditation or recertification because they were it was due in fall of 2020 so they probably added that hence that they're kind of reorganizing the classes so if you're taking the class and it has the s at the end that just means that that's kind of like the new class classes that they're implementing um, along with the certificate recertification or reaccreditation, um, what I've noticed as well is that clinicals, for at least for mental health nurse practitioner, um, there's still four, but three out of four clinical classes, you need like a psych NP slash psychiatrist before two out of four classes you can use like a licensed social worker right for a preceptor but anyhow that's all what i got as always if i can do it you guys can do it too i'll see you guys later Paalam.